In 2022, Japan hosted the International Robotics Exhibition, or IREX 2022 for short, at the Tokyo Big Sight Exhibition Hall. There were not only many industrial robots, but also a number of interesting novelties in humanoid and bio-inspired robotics. Japan is the world's number one manufacturer of industrial robots, supplying 45% of all robots in the world. The export share of Japanese companies increased by 78% in 2020, with 136,069 industrial robots shipped. But industrial manipulators are a separate issue. Here on the Caro Show channel, we take a look at the most interesting and unusual robots from the show. Let's get started. Kawasaki brought the Kaleido robot and its friend, also called Friends. In the future, according to the company's vision, these robots will support people in dangerous jobs as well as take care of the sick and the elderly. Kaleido is stronger and more agile. It can or will be able in the future to get to the site of an accident, clear debris, and retrieve a person from under it, which it can recognize even in a pile of rubble. The robot is 179 centimeters tall and weighs 83 kilograms, or 183 pounds. This should give it a range of motion like an adult male, but limits its actions in small and narrow spaces. Although Kaleido was suspended at the show, the developers assure that the robot is exceptionally sturdy and not afraid of falls. It walks and moves like a person. In other words, it is stable not only on half-bent legs, but also on straight legs. The maximum walking speed is 4 kilometers per hour, the robot is stronger than a human and can lift up to 60 kilograms or 132 pounds. Kaleido is also able to predict unstable positions for itself and adapt to them to maintain stability in real time. The Friends robot is 168 centimeters tall and weighs 54 kilograms or 119 pounds. It can lift up to 10 kilograms and walk at 3 kilometers per hour or 5 miles per hour. It is powered by batteries. The robot is designed for entertainment, care and support of people in hospitals and nursing homes. The developers have not indicated whether it is able to communicate with humans in natural language now, but friends will definitely have this function in the future. The Japanese people treat robots as friends and helpers in everyday life. Perhaps in the future friends will be available for home use as well. One of the craziest robots was the robot musician Otamaroid. It played very unusual music for Western countries and also on a very unusual instrument. One of the most unusual and interesting novelties of IREX is the robot Capricorn from Kawasaki Robotics. It has wheels, legs, a saddle, horns, and a steering wheel. Meet Bex. Surprisingly, the robot is the heir to the Kawasaki Kaleido humanoid platform. At least Bex certainly got its legs from it. The robot can walk across rough terrain on four legs, and when the road is smooth, it transforms into a wheeled platform. To do this, it literally gets on its knees and extends another pair of wheels with a motor from its belly. The robot can carry loads of up to 100 kilograms, but the most interesting thing is that it is also designed to carry people who can control the car with the steering wheel, just like you control a bicycle or a rider controls a horse. Developers believe the robot can be used at construction sites and industrial plants to move goods and inspections. It could also transport crops harvested by farmers in the fields. The robot can stream video from its cameras in its head. Movement is provided in two modes. Direct control of a person sitting on top and remote control. The robot also relies on data from sensors, such as a gyroscope mounted on it, to generate stepping movements. In addition, the robot controls the position of the entire body and will not fall if it is suddenly hit from the side or its leg hits an unstable surface. Kawasaki Heavy Industries also unveiled its autonomous service robot Nyaki, which is capable of moving and working in an unstructured human environment. It is safe for humans, can open regular doors, and can easily handle boxes in a warehouse or trays in a restaurant. The robot is equipped with a LiDAR and vision sensor to create a map of the environment, understand its place on it, 
and noticed everything going on around it. Yaki can also be switched to remote control mode if the robot gets confused or there is some mistake. The same remote control can also be used to teach the robot new skills. It just remembers the movement that he gave him the operator. To move the robot uses AMR system that allows Nyaki itself to determine the route to a given target. Kawada Robotics brought its humanoid robot, HRP4, to the exhibition. It is very light and compact, only 39 kilograms or 86 pounds. At 151 centimeters tall, the robot became a sensation in 2010 and has been used by the company mostly for advertising ever since. The main announcement of the exhibition from the company was the humanoid collaborative robot Nextage Philly. This is a continuation of the Nextage line of robots, which has long been actively implemented in industrial enterprises in Japan. According to the company's representatives, Philly embodies practicality and Kawada's three concepts of development. Compact size, matching price and performance, and a design with a high proximity to human. Philly is designed not only for businesses, but also for other applications such as hospitality, service, and similar applications. True, so far the robot's abilities at the check-in desk are not impressive, despite the fact that in production it looks quite dexterous. The Philly will cost just over $50,000 in the Japanese market. Also at IREX 2022, cat robots were presented that move synchronously with each other. They are designed for remote communication. An interesting novelty was a scooter for moving around theme parks with elements of augmented reality. Human Machinery presented its very impressive general-purpose robot at the show, working in conjunction with an aerial work platform. The humanoid robot is remotely controlled and provides the operator with feedback to control grip strength. The machine is equipped with powerful electric actuators that provide it with strength and high-precision movements. The robot is designed to maintain railroads and other transportation systems and works exclusively in tandem with the operator. According to the developers, it allows not only to save people's jobs, but also to increase the level of their salaries by improving their skills and safety when performing operations with heavy elements at height and not only. It is worth noting that the idea is not new. We have already seen something similar, although on a smaller scale, from Sarcos Robotics, which is developing the Guardian XT robot based on its own exoskeleton Guardian XO. Not a single exhibition of robots is now complete without automated chefs, which are most often implemented on the basis of industrial manipulators. The Exoweed Artificial Intelligence Complex presented at IREX was implemented on the basis of collaborative robots Kinoa and Universal Robots. He made coffee with Japanese pancakes. Omron's Forpheus Ping Pong robot was also at the exhibition. The robot is highly accurate and almost never loses. For this purpose, it predicts the trajectory of the ball before and after hitting with the racket, as well as determines the movement of the racket, its speed and the direction of return of the ball. Honda Motor exhibited an autonomous delivery robot, its mobile platform for construction sites, which was demoed only on the video booth, as well as an electric wheelchair and a robotic avatar of its own design. The last one, by the way, does not look especially technologically advanced compared to everything that is on the market today. Most likely, the company just wanted to show that they have technological inventions of this level. At IREX 2022, Tokyo Robotics unveiled a prototype of a mobile gripper capable of picking up and moving cardboard boxes of various sizes without damaging them. The robot is designed for short-distance delivery politicization, and depoliticization in small and medium-sized logistics facilities, factories, and markets. The robot's left and right hand grippers rotate up and down independently of each other and have a side-slip function for accurate palletizing. A stable robot is possible thanks to the recognition of the position and shape of the carton using computer vision. Each gripper supports four degrees of freedom and can lift objects 160 centimeters off the floor. The robot moves using lines or markings on the floor. Future plans include support for rail-free navigation using SLAM technology. 
at the booth of the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, Agris autonomous harvesting robot was on display. The simple and cheap robot was created in such a way that any farmer suffering from a shortage of workers could afford it. The most economical way to move the robot was chosen to use stretched wires. The robot uses computer vision to find and pick ripe fruit. A wide range of service robots at the exhibition was presented at the stand of Keenon Robotics, which supplies its solutions to more than 30 countries. The robots are designed for the hotel restaurant business. The autonomous robots are equipped with a positioning system with an accuracy level of one centimeter, which allows them to move in narrow spaces. They can communicate with users via menus and exchange data with each other. The navigation system allows the robots to adapt quickly in a new environment, and the auto charge function makes it easier to use the robots. Interestingly, the Soft Robotics Group Corporation is actively involved in the development of the company. In general, IREX 2022 turned out to be quite unusual. High technologies have been counted here with the amazing approach of the Japanese to the robots themselves. Write in the comments, which of the robots do you like the most? Subscribe to the Caro Show channel and watch our previous videos. Goodbye.